All right, Troy, uh, big win versus SMU on the road. What happened on the uh, offensive side? Well, really, Chins, we're not, uh, I'm not worthy. Offense is not worthy to go first uh, based on our performance. What wasn't good enough. So uh, we'll allow you to go first because you all did a phenomenal job shutting down a top 10 ranked scoring offense in the country, man. I, the, guy, the fans want to know how you all did it. Well, I, I think 31 points is a, a, a big, uh, is a big time play, but sure, we'll, uh, we'll go first. Um, like you said, coach, they had a, a great offense. I, I think hats off to those guys. Uh, well-coached football team. Uh, those two receivers are as good as anybody. I, I don't know if we've ever seen, no matter where we've been, uh, Cortland Sutton's a first-round draft choice, and, and, and Quinn was a really good football player. Um, we, get, we started off the game not, not how we wanted to. Obviously, we gave up a slant that should have been tackled for eight and went to the house, but after that, we settled down, and um, the guys really played well. Even though the sacks didn't, didn't show up, what did show up, which is a compliment to our players, I think, is there was a lot of seven and eight man protection going on. Um, and even though a lot of sacks didn't come, this kid got pressured and hit. Uh, he remarked to me after the game that he felt um, a little bit uneasy in the pocket. Um, and you can see on here, you know, Mike's playing, Navelle's playing, uh, Brandon Moore, the safeties in the corners did an unbelievable job of pressing these guys and, and guarding them. And then you can see we got a couple linebackers getting a hit on the quarterback. So when you're getting hits on the quarterback and you got good tight coverage, I think that makes for a, a, a better game, um, especially in the run. They have to start running the football, and, and our guys are pretty good at defending the run. What I love about our team and, and what we've been trying to get done is we were very physical on the perimeter. These guys were a big RPO team, a big screen to their receivers out there, and we were very physical on the perimeter. Um, right here, Shaquem Griffin, he's done a lot for this team. We've asked him to do some different jobs to help the team out. You know, right there you see he's just physical as heck on the perimeter, and then we can go vice the tackle down. When you, when you can do that, you can eliminate the, the, the perimeter screen games. I think it takes a lot away from this team. And then another thing that happened in this game, you know, these, these D linemen, they do a great job against the run every week. These guys, I think, felt like it's not a good idea to run it up the middle. So they started trying to, trying to create some of that perimeter game, even though we were physical out there. But what these D linemen did, you can see Tony Garrard right here, and it wasn't just him many times. These guys, as soon as that ball got on the perimeter, they were hustling. They were getting out of the stack like crazy. And you can see right here, Shaquan Burkett misses a tackle. Good miss, though. He missed on his leverage and hit it back. And then you can see a big D lineman hustling out of the stack. And anytime that happens, you get those nasty reverse tackles on a, on a receiver. They don't like that. So it was just an unbelievable team win. It wasn't a DB. It wasn't a D lineman. It wasn't a linebacker. It was 11 guys, 22 guys on defense you know, working together to shut the game down. It was offense playing great. It was special teams playing great. It was everybody. And then I think this one kind of started it off. The one, the one drive they kind of grinded it out on us. They had a little trick play, went wildcat. We were down a fitter because they used the quarterback as a blocker. But great hustle by Trey Neal. He knocks the ball out, strips it out. And in a pitcher perfect city ball recovery by Kyle Gibson. And that took a touchdown off the board. It wasn't a great drive for us, but that took a touchdown off the board. And I think you guys responded well on that one, moved the ball back downfield. So I just think it was an unbelievable team win. Awesome. Tell us uh, what happened on the offensive side. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't up to our, our standards. Uh, you know, we had three turnovers, which is unacceptable. Um, but I think the key to this game on offense was our big plays. Sure. Um, you know, we moved the ball. We had over 600 yards. Uh, you know, we've got to do better in the red zone. But our big plays created touchdowns. And right here, we had a really a four vertical concept. Uh, they played some two man, so they were really trailing our underneath receivers. And Gabe did a great job of reading cover two, going by the corner. Uh, McKenzie stepped up in the pocket, made a hell of a throw on the run, didn't lose stride. And then uh, he put on the Jets. So, you know, the big plays in this game really were the difference. Seems like every week you see Traquan, you see, you know, Jordan Akins, but one of those freshmen every week yeah. kind of steps up. Yeah, and... seems like a different guy every week, which is awesome. You know, the more guys we have contributing, the better. And uh, here we wanted to spread them out. We felt like they would spread out with us. And then we just ran a quick trap up the middle with AK and, you know, O-line did a great job. Uh, Aaron Evans had a hell of a game. I mean, he was one of the offensive MVPs for the way he blocked up front pass protection. And then when AK gets in the open field, cheese and bread, he's gone. Um, you know, it was a pretty, pretty play. Well, uh, it was blocked well up front. 
And uh, there's the crease. And when he gets in the crease, it's over. I almost missed this one. I was talking to the defense. Somebody yelled cheese and bread. I turned around and she was gone. Yep. We need some more cheese and bread moments. And then right here, yep. O-line did a great job. Aaron Evans, Sis, up to the next man, does a great job. AK breaks. And then I love our hustle on the perimeter. You know, Trey Crom runs his man off, and then he peels back to get that extra block. Boom. And then that's another big play. So anytime you can create explosives and score touchdowns off of them, you got a great chance of winning. Uh, looking forward to the upcoming game against UConn. Uh, their defense is very similar to you all. You know, they're, they're in and out of a three-man front, a four-man front. Uh, their defensive line is very stout. So they want to be able to penetrate gaps, hold the line of scrimmage so that their linebackers can make plays. Uh, I would say the strength of their defense is up front. Here's a three down. You know, the D-line, they plug up gaps, and they really allow their linebackers, okay, to fit inside and make plays. But, uh, you know, it all starts up there. They're penetrating guys. They're stout. And, uh, you know, they're trying to really push the line of scrimmage back into the quarterback's lap and, and take care of the run. So we got to make sure up front that we're aggressive. We got to handle these three big guys up front and make sure we get up to the linebackers. Great job by the nose, shedding the center and making a play. Okay, and then off of the out of the three, four, you know, just like you all, they can bring any number of guys. So you're not sure where the blitz is coming from. Um, they do a great job of disguising. And now they're bringing boundary pressure. They get to the quarterback. And, you know, just like the other teams we play, they're, they're key, the key to this defense is causing disruption up front, getting pressure on the quarterback so these guys in the back end don't have to cover as long. And then last but not least, they're active. When they get in third down, they can pin their ears back. These defensive linemen, they do a great job of, of stunning. Twist move, spin move, get to the edge, create havoc on the quarterback. Now they're able to drop seven. At times they'll drop eight. And now they've got more guys in coverage than we do have than we have receivers, and they're able to get pressure on the quarterback. So it all starts up front this game. I think if we can protect the quarterback, if we can run the ball on these guys, then we have a great chance of putting up points and winning the game. I like it. Um, on offense, you know, this uh, uh, their offensive coordinator came from uh, Auburn, kind of the, in the in the offense that those guys have ran for a long time, and they got two different quarterbacks. Uh, the guy we saw last year, actually, and then they have a junior college transfer who's played in some games, and he might be up this week because their guy got hurt last week. We're not really sure who we're going to face. But you see here, here comes some of the fly sweep action. And then this, this running back is pretty good. They go fly sweep, then they bring counter back, they bring split zone back, they run some power off of it, so everybody's eyes got to be completely dialed in. And once these guys get in open, they can make some plays. they got some pretty good playmakers on, on the offense. They just need to get them a little space to work. Sure. But there's a lot of window dressing you got to really get through, so everybody needs to do their job. This is the old Bill Belichick, do your job, this is this week. So if everybody does their job, we have a good chance. If somebody's eyes get screwed up like what's going on here, you got some problems. And another thing that they can do is they can, they've got a really nice screen game. They've got a screen game with the backs. They've got screen games on the perimeter. But they've got a really nice screen game, and they've, had, they've made some huge, huge plays on some screen games, especially against some teams that are really trying to rush the quarterback and get after it. And like we said, this is the, one of those running backs that can make some plays. you got to be a sure tackler on him. we got to get him down. Yeah. And they've actually, you know, I know their, their record isn't as, as good as they'd like, but they've actually had some big-time success on offense. Yeah. Um, and then another thing that they've had a lot of success with is they've had a lot of trick plays, mm -hmm. a lot of them. They've had a lot of gadgets, a lot of flea flickers, a lot of quarterback throwback. Um, that's actually the play that the quarterback got hurt on last week. Um, but like right here, flea flicker. Uh, this receiver, number one, he's a long, really long player with a big-time uh, catch radius. If he can get behind you, you got to watch out because you can just throw that thing up to him. Yeah. Um, but this is going to be a game of everybody doing their job, everybody keeping their eyes where they're supposed to be because there's trick plays, there's fly sweeps, there's motions, there's trades. So I think we're going to be okay. We just need to do our job and, and make sure we're not looking where we're not supposed to be. Eyes can't be in the backfield and all those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Well, I look forward to, look forward to coming back home playing in front of the home fans, and uh, hopefully it's a sellout. Absolutely. We need all the support we can get and uh, look forward to the game Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. Go Knights. Charge on.